Hello everyone, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. If you use a tablet computer, you know that apps are under constant refinement. No sooner is one revision out than another one is about to be. Now later this month, we expect a new revision from Wing X Pro 7, and we'll have some coverage of that at EAA AirVenture in Oshkosh. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the basic app itself. Wing X does flight planning, weather getting, charts and plates, utilities and documents, but its strong suit is moving map navigation with versatile and easy to use split screen functions. Let's take a closer look. Apps vary in their approach to navigating the basic functions, but Wing X is one of the simplest. Everything it does is right on this menu page, and if you ever get stuck, just push the menu key to get back to the starting gate. I'm running Wing X on an iPad mini, and there's plenty of room on the screen for Wing X's split screen feature. To set that up, just use the screen button to call up the second screen. You can then configure each screen differently. For example, in this case, I have the low altitude IFR chart on the left or primary screen and a sectional on the right secondary screen. Those can easily be swapped and if you prefer portrait mode, just flip the tablet and swap from top to bottom. Wing X Pro leaves the aviation app field in the number of external devices it will support, including the new ADS-B AHARS gadgets like the Clarity SV. If you have one of these, you can put the attitude indicator in one of the panels and navigation information in one of the other panels. This works a little better in the full-size iPad because there's a little bit more screen real estate. Let's take a look. Here I've got Wing X's onboard simulator running with the navigation configured with a low altitude IFR chart on the left and an approach plate here on the right. This is a good place to take a peek at how Wing X handles approach plates. There are a couple of ways to get at approach plates in Wing X, but the easiest is to access them from the destination airport. There's a small tab in the lower left of the charts page labeled Select. Touch that and you get a list of procedures at the destination. Once selected, standard pinch scaling applies. These are FAA Aeronav charts, by the way, and Wing X will geo-reference them for an add-on price of $74 a year. This is what the GeoRef symbology looks like running on the simulator. As with other apps we've worked with, Wing X will grab all kinds of weather data, including text weather, radar and satellite imagery, and specific METARs and tasks through a broadband connection. It will also find the latest TFRs and NOTAMs, including a clever feature called SmartAMs that automatically sorts coded NOTAMs by airports so they're easier to find. For in-flight weather, Wing X can accept input from most of the portable ADSB boxes, and it will display NEXRAD weather and all the text weather you could possibly want. We'll look at that in more detail in a future video. Pre-flight weather briefings can be requested by route or airport radius, and while we're on the subject of routes, let's take a look at how Wing X does that. Again, there are a couple of ways to skin this cat. The easiest is to just point and shoot on the map itself. For example, for a flight from Venice to Fort Myers via Punta Gorda VOR, just tap on the fixes, first the departure airport, then the waypoints, then the destination. Wing X automatically tabulates these in the route column, and it's smart enough to know that if you add a fix along the way, it will put it into the route in the correct order. You can also use a combination of text entry and map drag and drop. You can also use this function on approach plates too, which is quite handy if you want to add an approach to your route. Wing X costs $99 a year for the basic data, including all the charts and approach plates, or they'll give you a nice price break at $200 for three years. As mentioned, an additional $74 a year buys geo-referencing for the plates, and for synthetic vision, add another $99 a year. For more information on Wing X, see hiltonsoftware.com. For AvWeb, I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you at Oshkosh.